Hi everyone, so I wanted to do another video um, in between nail designs. So I have a video on multicolor stamping and I wanted to update it only because there's different ways you can do it. So I wanted to go ahead and show you that. And I have this plate from AliExpress which I'll try to leave the link down below as well as um, this is a dupe for my online shop. So I'll try to find the exact plate. And the polishes that I have are Mundo de Unas. These are the best stamping polishes ever, just like the best glue ever. Um, but I have 13, 29, which is neon pink, I believe, 5, 9, which is the red, and yellow, which is 11. Let me see if I can get another light. Okay, so the first one that I want to do is where you can apply the polish in dots, like anywhere on the image. So I'll go ahead and show you that one. And in my last video, um, I had did this, but the The stamping itself, like on the nail, it wasn't like the best pretty design ever. Okay, and then I'm using my Creative Shop scraper. And then depending on how many times you scrape it, it will blend the colors more. And you can use any any colors that you would like. Um, and then another way to do it is the like the ombre. No, not the ombre. Well, yeah, and the gradient stamping. Um, you can use you know two polishes or more. So we'll go ahead and do this design right here. But you place them depending on how many you use. along the image and with these polishes you only need a little bit so you want to scrape in the direction that you put the polish and as many times as you scrape the more it blends so with this one you don't want to scrape too many times but what I do is I go left to right just very very little until it's blended That one turned out pretty nice. I didn't get so much yellow in there because I added more of the pink and blue. But that's that's part of the multicolor stamping. And then I have uh, CC and Sissy uh, 13, which I believe this is the third set. And um, Another way to do it is, for these polishes, they're pretty thick, so you can place them and they'll stay, depending on how many times you scrape. So I want to try and do this flower right here. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place these right on the petals. Now this could be a little time consuming um, and you can use a lot more polish, but um, now this you only want to be able to scrape once because the more you scrape the more it will blend and I want each petal to be a certain color. And I don't 
think that's going to work. But it normally does work. Maybe with not so many spots to fill. But usually on an image you can you can try and do that. I had did a Christmas manicure with um, Christmas writing and each word I had did a different color and it, it worked. Um, and this might be because I had too much polish and it's etched pretty good. So another, I think that was it, but let me show you um, this one again and this one on Queen SE01B. Whoops, and I definitely added way too much. But that's okay. Okay, and then let me get a different plate since I used most of that one. And then for for just the multi color, any which way you want it, um, you just apply the dots randomly on the plate. Now, depending on what colors you use, it might look a little bit better than mine. So, this is the video for uh, multi-color stamping. And if you had liked this video and thought it was helpful, helpful. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, Give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you do multicolor stamping or if you're going to try. But I just wanted to update my last one because there's all kinds of different ways you could do this. Um, endless colors and possibilities. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.